Remember old cartridge games? How about the Game Boy Color cartridges with batteries in them? Remember your Pokemon Gold with your level 100 Lugia? Look, I know that Ancient Power sounded like a really great move to teach Lugia at level 88, but amongst all the other bad decisions we made back in the day with our Pokemon, there's another that throughout the passing years, you may not have even realized. What's going on guys? My name is Stevie, this is Lucky Crit, and today we're talking about original Game Boy Color cartridges and replacing the battery, and how you can avoid losing your save data. Certain Game Boy Color cartridges have batteries in them. These batteries, unlike later Game Boy Advance cartridge batteries, actually stored our save data. They were always running in order to make features like day and night and the in-game clock possible. That means that since you bought the game, a tiny little clock of doom has slowly but surely been counting down towards the destruction of your beloved save file and all of your Pokemon. And you may not have even realized it. There are even articles written about this phenomenon, the sorrow of losing your nostalgic childhood save data. But not today. That's not how we roll here at Lucky Crit. First though, a salute for all our fallen Pokemon and save data that didn't make it until you saw this video. We barely knew ye. What I'm going to show you today is a surefire way of saving your Game Boy Color save data without the threat of losing it permanently at any given moment. We'll also be walking through replacing the batteries of cartridges that no longer save the game anymore. Now, I know you might be thinking, Stevie, we can just use ROMs, it's easier, more accessible, and there's no fear about losing your data due to a dead battery. And yes, you're absolutely right. You can go and download a ROM, and I suppose if you actually own the original physical game, it might not be as illegal as usual. But this video is for those of us that only truly get a kick out of slapping the original cartridge into our old Game Boys and playing it the original way, the correct way, for the best possible nostalgia trip. So, to get things started, if your save file is already dead and you can no longer save the game, you're going to need to crack open this bad boy and replace the battery. However, it's a little bit more complicated than it may originally sound. This is not quite as simple as swapping out a AAA. We need to use a security screw bit in order to remove this little star-shaped screw in the back of the cartridge, and this is probably a tool that you'll have to buy, as I doubt your dad's toolkit is going to have the correct one in this size. I did find, however, that it is possible to remove the screw using a very small pair of pliers, or another tool that could grab onto the security bit and turn the entire bit against the cartridge to unscrew it. So there may be hope there for you if that's what you have to resort to. Inside the cartridge is where the fun happens. We're going to need a soldering iron. What we need to do is heat up the two points where the battery connects to the board till the solder releases the old battery. Then we'll have to position the new battery exactly where the old one was, and with the soldering iron, establish new connections at the solder points. That's it. It's a little bit more complicated than you may have originally thought, but it's not too awful. And for the sake of nostalgia, it must be done. As far as replacement batteries go, you can go to just about any store and pick yourself up a CR2025 battery. I went to Walgreens to show you this example. But please keep in mind that this is the correct battery for the Game Boy Color Pokemon games, not Game Boy Advance games, and other games in general may use a different kind of battery, so do your research first. These batteries from the store though will not have the nice little assembly that the original batteries had to connect them to the board, in which case you'll have to desolder and reuse the little frame piece that came with the original battery. Not quite as easy. I did this for my Pokemon Gold cartridge, and it worked alright. It only smells like burning plastic and melting components sometimes. For the sake of simplicity though, down in the description of this video I will link you to the eBay page where I was able to purchase not only the batteries with the correct original assembly, pretty much exactly the same as the batteries that came with the original cartridges themselves, as well as a security screw bit. It's a little more expensive than buying them separately on eBay, but I figured the separate shipping costs on the different items would probably bring it to about the same price range in general, so this makes it easy. So let's get started.
Now that all the hard work is done, I'm going to recommend that you pick up one of these. This is a mega memory card. Essentially what this does is it creates a save data backup of all of your Game Boy Color games. So if any of those batteries end up dying in the future, all you have to do is replace the battery, slap this bad boy in, and reload your last save data that you have on it. Now unfortunately what that does mean is you will have to backup your data periodically onto this cartridge in order to make sure that you save it, so you can reload that most current file. But if you do honestly care about retaining your save data for the future, it's not a big deal. It takes a couple of minutes and your save data is backed up and safe. So especially when you replace the battery, you play through the game again, you beat the game, you do everything you want to do, save your data to this cartridge, and you're set. Now what you might notice is obviously if you tried to use this and save your data to it and reload it onto a dead battery, it's not going to work. You do also need to replace the battery in the cartridge, so you'll have to follow the steps that we talked about earlier in order to do so. These Mega Memory cards can be found on eBay. I'll link one in the description down below. And with that, I'd like to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to slash that thumbs up down below. And be sure to let me know in the comments section your save data files that you're trying to retain for the future. Any horror stories you've had in the past about losing your save data from these cartridges. I would absolutely love to hear it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.